Good evening. Good evening. Hi, guys. Daniel, Andrea, hello. Good evening. How Good are evening, you? Good evening, teacher. I don't know How are you? I'm great. What about you guys? How are you doing? Nice. Relax. <laughs> Relax at home. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. So no, no night shift? Mm, no, I, I start tomorrow. Oh, okay, okay. So you're going to rest the rest of the afternoon. You're going to rest a little bit. Yes, yeah, bro. yeah all day, practice. All day, mm -hmm. yes. Oh, okay, okay, sounds all right. Andrea, how are you doing? How is your, how is your starting of the week? Is everything okay? Is everything good? I think Hello. I got somebody else. Helen, good evening. Hello. Hello, Miss. Good evening. Hello, how are you doing? so far so good oh okay <laughs> i'm glad to hear that <laughs> so that that sounds good helen how are you good evening teacher good evening miss how are you doing is everything okay is everything good okay. teacher i'm uh, working are you working yeah. no helen don't work <laughs> 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 so don't work that much. Okay, I, I get that. And I and I uh, truly appreciate that you're here, you know, that you connect to classes. So thank you so much. And Miss, cuando termine, you are always welcome to participate. So you're always welcome to, uh, to be here, right? Um, so I just got Helen. Hello, guys. Good evening. Great to see you. Adolfo, hello. Good evening. How are you doing, Adolfo? Is everything all right? Is everything, everything okay? Hello. Hello, hello, Julie. Hello. Good, Good evening. evening. How are you doing? Is everything okay, Adolfo? Fine, thanks. Yeah, of course. Glad to hear that. Christian, good evening. Great to see you. I hope you're having a really nice uh, day. Oh, I don't know why this looks super weird. All right, guys. So I'm super glad to see you again um, in this starting of the week. So I'm super glad, guys, that you can um, that you could make the time, right, to uh, join us today. Uh, we still have kind of some parts pending from unit number two, so we are going to try to work on that today. But there is something that I wanted uh, that I wanted to practice with you. That is a little bit of review of simple past tense, right? So we're gonna work a little bit on that. Um, sorry, just let me make a little change here because I don't have the okay, there we go. Because I, I didn't have like that. Um, I was not the um, the host of the meeting. I'm sorry. Okay, guys. So we're going to like start practicing, discussing a couple of questions I have for you. Then I have some exercises that we are going to be discussing today. All right. So let's get started. Uh, Kenya, good evening. Tell me good evening. Guys, just a quick question there. ¿Me están escuchando doble? Uh, do I sound like with a sort of echo? Hello, good evening. Or is that all right? So great. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much for the confirmation. All right, guys. So I got a couple of questions for you. So let's get started, guys. Give me your opinion. So give, tell me what you think about it. Uh, for example, question one says, who was your childhood friend? Guys, do you remember your best friend when you were like a little kid? You were probably seven, eight years old. Do you remember who was your friend? What was the what was your friend's name? Yes, teacher. Um, Daniel, do you remember your best friend? Yes. Uh, in, in, okay. in fact, in this my actually actually house is the house all, all my all my life. I oh I, so I you live in, in you have always live lived there. Yes. Yes, I live in my house 40 years ago. Ah, more, okay. for, more 40 years. Um, my 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 best friend is, mm -hmm. is a family. 
three, three or five or five uh, uh, children, three, mm -hmm. three males and two females. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Hey, in fact, I, I this 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 week I saw one of one of their one of this. Mm -hmm. Yes, is the father, the parents, the father and the mother of my best friend childhood is mm -hmm. in live live in the in the same house. Oh, that mm -hmm. sounds yes. amazing! It's, what it's is your from, friend? Is your friend from, in El Salvador? Yeah, yeah, they, they live in here. Yeah, mm -hmm. in, in in another city. Oh, okay. But, so you but, said but, that they live in front. But, excuse me. Did you say they live in front? Yes. Running my home, running my house. Oh mm -hmm. wow! <laughs> but but wow. the mother, the mother and the father is in, is live here still. Ah okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's amazing. Do you normally? <laughs> I don't know. Do you visit them? Do you see them? Do they visit you once in a while? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they visit. Yeah, uh, in. How, how can I say in special holidays? In yes, Christmas, for, for special celebrations. Yes, Christmas uh, and New Year. Hmm. They coming, they coming to the neighborhood. Wow, mm -hmm. that sounds mm -hmm. amazing. So that sounds super, super cool. That is incredible yes. because you have been together like for, or you have met each other. You have known each other for a long time. So that is yes. great. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Great to hear that. Guys, what about the rest of you? Um, Sue, so what, what was your friend's name? Hi, Noemi, good evening. Great to have you. So guys, anybody else uh, wants to tell us the story? Christian, I see you have the microphone ready, so tell us. Um, I, I don't remember. I think it was one cousin. Uh, okay. His name is Oscar. 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 Okay. Do you have, I don't know, a close relationship with Oscar? Do you still see Oscar? Um, actually, not much, really. Oh, okay. Uh, he has mm -hmm. his family, mine. <laughs> He has his family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Christian, creería que se le está quebrando a little bit your voice. Uh, or guys, me estoy quebrando your. Am I breaking? No, mm, okay, Christian, yes. Okay, so Christian, apagamos la cámara un momento. Turn it off just a moment while the internet gets, you know, a little bit more stable. Creo que Christian is gone. Okay. Okay, so while Christian comes back, so hopefully it's just some internet issues. Um, so guys, what else can you tell us about your friend? Imelda, good evening. Great to have you. Judy, hello, girl. How are you? Okay, guys, who went, Who else wants to tell us a little bit of, I don't know, your stories here? Tell me, are you ready for that? Question number two says, what games do you like to play when you were a child? Do you remember the games you played? Yes, I, I play. I play Capirucho. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I play okay. I, I play yo, -yo okay. so, uh, soccer in the... Yes. Not soccer in the in the in the stadium. Soccer in the in street. The, in the street, yes. The, yes. The the goal the, the goal the goal how how much is the portería? The goal. Yes. Yeah, the goal. 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 goal keeper. Yes. Well, yeah, goal keeper goal. is kind yeah. of portero. You can say the goal. Ah, uh -huh. Okay. I say the goal. The goal to mm -hmm. to beat the scum. <laughs> yes, I remember that. I did as well. Guys, yes, do yes. you remember the games you played? Did you play anything else? We Riding were a bicycle. Playing Vika. 
Mika. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, that is called tag in English. Okay, Mika so I guess everybody in, in, play tag. Oh, in, oh, in all the version of Mika. <laughs> okay, so like frozen tag, fruit tag, I don't know what Mika it is. Fruit, Mika fruit, Mika ball. <laughs> I I, I love to I love to play pool. Uh, like pulling the onion? Yeah, pull and the table. Pool and the table. Yeah. Or you mean okay, I was thinking about like pulling each other, but probably not. Probably you mean pool. Yeah. Like like you in have, a board? In a, yeah, like, you have okay. ten, bo ten balls and uh and uh, I don't know how to say uh, a triangle? Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, well, it's stick. Ah. It's stick. Yeah. yeah, so that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but yeah. when you were a child? No. Oh. When you were a child? Yes, about around 10 years. Wow, okay. Yeah. That's really it's a, it's a It's a mathematical and geometrical play. I mean, yeah. interesting. You have, you, you, you have to define the angle. You have to define the lines. So. Wow, really interesting because I thought that it was more like a teenage or adult game. But okay, okay, sounds okay. Yeah. Guys, anything else that you played? No, I mean, what did you play, guys? Hi, Carlos. Good evening. Angelica, great to see you guys. Good what evening. What games did you play, Carlos, when you were growing up? Uh, I'm sorry. I don't know how to say Pelegrina. <laughs> ah, okay. So that is hopscotch. Hop? Scotch. I'm going to write them here. So that is hopscotch. Okay. That was super cool. Or people call it airplane, I think. Airplane. So, yes. uh -huh, airplane. airplane or mm -hmm. hopscotch. Yes. Okay. Anything else? Any other game? There was no internet. There was no like, uh, no PS, I think. So Judy, girls, what do you play? Kenya, do you remember the games you used to play with your friend, family and friends? Besides soccer, do you play anything else? Play marbles. Marbles, marbles. yes. Marbles. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool, <laughs> marbles. Yeah, it's teal, I like it a lot. Okay, marbles. Jax, do you remember Jax? Jax, yes. <laughs> you take one, you take two, three, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that was like, a, yeah, it was super, super cool. Anything else, guys, that you remember? I have heard a couple of games. Acuerdas. Ah, yes, mm. like jumping the rope. Okay, so jumping jump. the rope. Jumping the rope. Yes. <laughs> Oh, ah, salta. What is that, Carlos? How do era, you play it? Para ir saltando encima, ponían una fila así como inclinados y van pasando unos encima de los otros, así como acurrucados. Was that a game? Uno sí, sí, era así se llamaba saltaburro. Uh -huh. Ellos oh. generalmente se jugaba, se acurrucaban un poquito y uno iba saltando, ponía las manos en el hombro y saltaba hacia adelante y caía agachado y este tenía que saltar encima de uno y así sucesivamente. Oh, ok. Mm -hmm. I never heard about that, so that's super interesting. <laughs> really? Ok. What else? Arranca cebollas. Yes, I guess that was definitely a classic. Ok. Y de ahí los tradicionales, ¿verdad? chibola, capirucho, trompo. Ok, ok. So you gotta explain to me a couple of them. Because there are some games that you never played. For example, this called Tentarro. Guys, have you ever played that one? What, it, what is it about? Ese se jugaba flota, según tengo entendido. Me recuerdo, ajá. A boy? What, what game yeah. teacher? Tentarro. Sí, se, se jugaba con una pelota. Uno que salía torteado para buscar. Entonces se tiraba la pelota, se le pegaba una patada a la pelota que se fuera lejos. Y All entonces right. el que iba a buscar la pelota era el que iba a buscar a los demás. Y entonces mientras él iba a buscar la pelota, todos salían corriendo a esconder. So that is Tentarro. Uh -huh. oh, I entonces knew él it. ponía la pelota en un punto uh -huh. y, y iba, empezaba a buscar. Mm, okay. Y, eh, in some cases, when you don't, don't have a uh, ball, uh 
Uh-huh. You último? can use whatever thing. Uh, okay, like a rock. El qué? Maybe or or um um the, I don't know how to say on a, a bottle of of water or oh, okay. whatever. Mm, yes. Okay. Teacher, so, uh -huh. teacher, I I just sent to the chat in WhatsApp okay. an Im, an image of the day in San Caburro. Encumbrarte. Ah, wow. Okay. I never played that one. Which one? <laughs> Encumbrarte escuchas. Oh yes, 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 yes. So kites, I think we're like. Super common, right? So kites were like a very good, um, especially um, in October. So in October, like winter yes. months, I remember that it was super common, right? Yeah. So we got yeah. tight. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, like in October winds. So right. guys, here we have a couple of words. We got like this tagging, right? That is the one that we call Nika. Uh, we got <laughs> I didn't know it was kind of a sport, I thought. Hopscotch, that is like, or airplane, that is peregrina, right? Then we got marbles. I think you're familiar with these. You have a lot of balls, crystal or glass balls. You throw them and you're supposed to hit the other um, glass balls as well. Jump in the rope. En ole. Hola. Ule. Ule. What is ule, mm, Kenia? Ule, yeah. Yes. Yeah. You play uh, ule. I don't know how do you say ule in English. A rubber. Uh, okay. Okay. Do you have you a rubber? Let, a rubber. Um, we have different levels. In, you te, yo, uh, so iba en diferentes niveles en los tobillos a la mitad yeah. de la pantorrilla. More, more, more high. Okay. And you have to. Uh -huh. You, you Como, how do you say saltar? Jump? Jump. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. You have to jump. With and the rubber. Uh, 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 into, yeah, and, no, and you have the... to keep and you have to keep the the rubber between your legs, right? Huh? I don't know. <laughs> yes. Yes. In, yes. In, inside the legs. So you inside, put them in, inside, oh. right? Yeah, you jump, you, jump you, you, you put outside the rubber, the rubber band, and then you jump again and mm -hmm. you get inside the, the rubber band. Oh, I need to see that. Because <laughs> I cannot, I cannot imagine that way. I, I thought you meant like, no, um, will it hoop? Uh, no, it's, like it's, it's so different. So, but that's different, right? Yeah. Teacher, you you put you put two two, two, two children front to front. Okay. Yes, in the in the legs, you put the rubber mm -hmm. around around the two children. Ah, okay. Yeah, and you in the in the chair in the chair children jump the rubber between oh. be, between the other between the other two children. Oh, got yes. it. In, oh, in so the, you play the, it with more people, not alone. With more, yeah, play, play with more people. Yes, you can play, you play a lot, a lot of people. Ah, three, okay. Yes. For the yes. menos, a less three people. Yes. Uh -huh. Oh, very but interesting. We, uh -huh. When we don't have a lot of people, when only was two persons, mm -hmm. we we use other, no a person, a if no a tree, something else. Something yeah, you could, you yes, a tree, a tree or, oh. a, or a, a pole. A pole. Yeah. A po oh, okay. Post like a butterfly. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, very interesting. So I think I need to to see that again. I've never played that, so that sounds really interesting. So we got there like some games, guys. Let's move on let's, and let's take a look at the rest of the games we have here. Hi, Margarita, Gabby. Great to see you girls, and thank you so much for joining. Uh, Rafa, good evening. Iris, hello. Good to see you guys. Good and Jack, good evening. Too. 
Jax, yes, I really like that one. Okay, so um, guys, next one we have here is, but it's pretty similar, like what were some of your favorite toys? Because uh, some of us more than toys, we had more like um, outdoor games, I would say, not necessarily toys. So it was a little different. So let's jump to number four. Which was better for you? Guys, talking about your personal experience, which was better? Elementary school, like kindergarten, first, second, third, etc. Junior high school, what we normally call tercer ciclo, right? Or high school or university for the ones who have had um, higher education. So which was better for you? Elementary, junior, high school, or, or any other? So this is more like a personal equation. So which was better for you? Hi, Rafa. I, I play. I play a trompo, no sé. Oh, okay, so that's tough. Did you play tough? Okay. Okay, very nice. Yeah, the pirucho and top, I think they were super common, right? I like bicycle. Oh, bicycle too. Okay, cool, 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 cool. What about the next one, Rafa? Uh, which was better for you? Talking about like a school. Um, did you have a good, I don't know, experience in elementary? Uh, was it better junior high school or the high school? Like the uh, bachillerato, right? Or which part of your school was better? The experience. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, elementary um, is the, lo que nosotros conocemos I, como Yes, like education basic, exactly. Okay. For me, elementary school. Elementary school, why? Because my, my compañeros, my, my classmates, classmates mm -hmm. uh, um, we have class, we have classmates uh, before kindergarten to ninth grade. Oh, so you were together. Yes, wow, and, nice. and we are on, we, we were only 20, 22 students. Oh, and okay. we are what a few. all together, yes. Wow, super nice. Yes. So you were just a few. So that is a really good experience. Yes. In my class, we were like four. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no. oh, okay. Um, when, when we have, um new students maybe only two or three but um almost time uh, we are, we were a little a little students and yeah. when was our despedida uh our farewell that's a farewell party i'm gonna write it there mm -hmm. all right Inclus, inclusive uh, even? the teacher the teacher oh even the teacher was crying she, yes she was our teacher uh, for before fourth grade to ninth grade wow that was a long time okay yes. I never heard like a story in which the teacher was like there for so long so wow so she saw you, you know, um, you grew up there in front of the teacher and everything. Wow, that's that's really, great. really all the the gray uh, talk with the teacher in this time uh, by Facebook. Oh, oh, yes. okay, okay. Well, wow, that but that's like pretty cool, I think. Something yes. very <laughs> uncommon. Uh huh. Okay. Okay, so you said elementary school. Guys, what about the rest? What, what was better? Gabby, Margarita, what was better for you? Andrea, what was better for you? Oh, tell me, Iris. So do you have better experiences or do you remember your experience was better in elementary, in junior high school or in high school 
uh, education? For me, the university. Okay. Why was it better? Because well, when I was in junior and high school, mm -hmm. uh, well, in junior, um, I was very shy, so oh. I don't, I didn't have many friends because okay. I was very shy. Oh, that's great. Um, and after in, in high school, um, I have some uh, familiar problems. So it's not a good time for me. Oh, I understand. Uh, I think uh, it was better the university because I have good friends. Um, I have the opportunity to uh, to travel with, with my classmates. Um, and I, I, I met the ahora en día o nowadays nowadays um, uh -huh. my some of them of some of my, of my classmates uh, are my friends yet oh so you are still like go out together so you're in touch yes not not so uh, not tan seguido como not so often not so often but uh, we are still uh, communicate uh, with uh, uh, the social media, for example. Oh, okay. No, but that is amazing. Okay. So, but that is really interesting because, as you said, so you went out of your comfort zone, you made more friends. So cool. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. And, guys, the last question Did you study hard in high school? Who wants to answer this? Did you study yes. hard? Yes, I studied Did? very, very hard. Okay. Because, so you didn't procrastinate? Yeah. Um, no, because uh, I have had to keep my scholarship, and oh. I and I had to try every day to to have a, a good grade, for example. Oh, okay. Yeah. In high school. So hard. Yeah, in high school, and my math mathematical um, skills are not so good. Oh, okay. <laughs> are not good, and I have to study every night until 3 a.m., for example. Wow, that was a lot of effort. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. I was a um, terrible uh, materials. I don't know. Subjects. I don't remember. Subject, subjects. a terrible mm -hmm. subject like chemica, soils, for example, is so hard. Oh, but that was um, in university or in high school? Uh, in a, in, oh, excuse me, in a university. Oh, that was in university, yeah. yeah. No, that's okay, that's okay. Yeah, because you mentioned some subjects that are not part of high school. I yeah. think unless you study at but, Vienna, I but, believe. But in, high, but in high school too, because I... I have had a study at in a specialist uh, institution uh, in, ag in agriculture. Yeah. Oh, okay. That, that, yeah, that's great. Because you mentioned yeah, okay. soil. So I was like, wait, <laughs> that is yeah. not like a normal subject. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. So you studied really hard in the back in university. What about the rest of you guys? Did you study hard? Angelica, uh, Andre, did you study really hard? In okay. high school, yeah. yeah, sometimes because the mathematics is always my subject. Uh, the weakest. Weak, the weak uh, subject. So oh. I have to do with the more than seven because I I was with the part of basketball team. Oh, so, nice. Oh, yes, I have to. Mm, something seven because my mom uh, that was the rule they ha I have to to prove that I have uh, that you could handle both things yes oh okay so you had to pass all the subjects with seven at, at least I believe at least. Yes. Uh -huh. okay wow but that was nice so you were like a good student good athlete oh mm -hmm. <laughs> Angelica, did you ever participate in, in a national team? Uh, no, just in como es, como es. your school? Uh, school, yes, but the school is in, in this 
parte del juego de estudiantiles de Indes. So that was kind of a national team, right? No, no, because the national have to pass uh, several proofs, but the, the school don't have the, it's como escala, como escalafón, no lo sé. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they don't have uh, the all the. Uh, okay. ¿Cómo sería requisitos? The requirements. They don't meet the requirements. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, because now I remember your your height. So I was like, hey, that's right. <laughs> so, uh huh. Okay. Nice. Well, guys, I'm super glad to hear that the two examples of you, like you studied really hard. I don't know the rest, but hopefully you can tell us about that later. Guys, let's move on a little bit with some uh, simple past um, thingies here. We are just going to review this because uh, part of the, of the, well, in the previous class, if you remember, there was some vocabulary, new vocabulary. There were some words that we didn't really know um, and we still had them pending. So today we are going to work on them. But before that, we are going to review simple past so we can, you know, put them into practice. I have some questions here. And the exercise says, put the words in order to make questions. Um, so guys, really quick, I'll give you uh, like three minutes. You don't need to write them down. So just in your head, okay? In a lighter, guys, I need you to try to think and try to put the words that you see here in order to make equations. Sin escribirlas. Try not to write them, please. Y solamente intenta recordar what is the order. So, W, H, D, subject, verb, complement. Pretty much that is the one we're gonna do. And because cuando hacemos preguntas, necesitamos seguir la estructura. So, intentemos no escribirlas, try not to write them, but just try to do it in your head, all right? I'll give you three minutes. I think that would be okay. And okay, then you thanks. give me the answers, all right? So okay. Let's do it, guys. You got three minutes. Let me know guys if you need some help. All right. Ah, este, mira, en la mañana voy a llegar como a las siete y media. What the... Teacher. Yes, Rafa? The bar is, is in normal, no in pass, the bar. Um, what do you think? <laughs> All of them are in pass. The question. Oh, the bird you said. Yes. Oh, the bird, the, the phone normally. No yes, that is when... right. Exactly, exactly. That is right. Yes, I'm sorry. I thought you meant the whole question. Yes, exactly. So remember that in questions, uh, Siempre cuando tengamos un auxiliar like did in this case, uh, no necesitamos cambiar verbos. Mm -hmm. That's right. 
you don't need to make any change in verbs. Perdón, teacher, me tuve que levantar porque me vino una visita un momentito. Eh, ¿Hay que hacer las frases? Um, we are going to make the questions. Yeah, we are going to um, pretty much just order, put them in order. Uh -huh, but eh, intentemos hacerlas sin escribirlas. Try not to write them. Just look uh. at them. Y como crearlas en el aire, right? So try to create them in the, in the just thinking about them, pero sin escribirlas. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, yes. De acuerdo, gracias. No problem. What about your visit? Is it going? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow, that was a quick visit. No worries. Eh, es que no recordaba que había hecho un encargo de una repostería con ellos. Mm. Yeah. Ay, don't, don't mention bread. <laughs> con unos amigos. Entonces, pues, vinieron ah. y eh, saludarlo y platicar un momentito. Ah, so nice. Oh, what about eh, Adolfo? ¿Fue al, final a, ¿Fue al final a comprar dulces donde Adolfo? I remember you said, Carlos, that you were no. going this week to Nehapa. Me comencé no. a día el jueves, no, el viernes, pasando por ahí. Papá. Yeah, but Carlos uh, was in a hurry. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, but you are Carlos, welcome. You are welcome all the little. time. Okay. Yes. I call no, you. Okay. <laughs> this okay. Uh, this week, right? Siete días que se estuve diciendo quién quiere ir, les dije yo no voy a ir. Okay. <laughs> Next week, I will present my product, right? Excellent. <laughs> Presentation and demonstration, please. We need some samples too. <laughs> okay. Just kidding. It's on me. Carlos, creo que se le está quebrando. Sorry. I think you're breaking a little. Así? I don't know why. Uh, maybe me, my my daughter is in, in French class too. Ah, oh, super nice. In the computer, and then maybe because she's connected to the internet with the computer. Uh, no, but ahora ya está mejor, so it's better now. So I, I don't know. Just uh, internet sometimes. Yeah, crazy. because it's good speed on the internet. I don't know yeah. why. No, no, no. Ahora se escucha mejor. So you were just breaking some seconds ago, but you're good. <laughs> okay. Uh, guys, do you need more time? Are you ready? Let me know, yeah. please. Yes, I ready. think so. I think I'm ready. Okay, thank you, Daniel. Thank you, um, Adolfo. Uh, girls. Margarita, Kevin, Angelica, are we good? Andre, Iris, tell me. Creo que donde Yuri está lloviendo. Guys, nadie vive cerca de, de, oh my God, de Colón, right? Nobody lives near like Lourdes, Colón, that area? No, me no. What? Why? I just saw some minutes ago that there was a landslide. Uh, como really? Un derrumbe, so just be yeah. careful, please, if you live in that area or uh, you gotta pass but, in that area. But yes, I, uh, but I have, I have a friend of mine that oh. usually every day uh, uh, drive their car. In that road. Yeah, the road. Yeah, so be careful. Uh, Imelda, are you all right? Now that I remember, creo que vive en esa área, right? No, I don't live near. No? Okay. No. Okay, good, good. Porque no sé si fue exactamente like in the, in the way down, I mean, so I was like, wow, that looks very dangerous. It was the yeah. way down. I'm sorry? It wasn't the way down. It was not the way down. It wasn't the chorros. No, yeah. I don't know. 
about the accident in Los Chorros. Yeah. Oh, un, eh, un derrumbe. Mm -hmm. Lance. Yes. Lance. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's, a, that's a landslide. Let me write it down. So, landslide. Yeah, that's a landslide. Yeah. Um, no. That's called a landslide. Yes. Okay, guys, let's check the question super quick. All right, so help me please with the answers. Um, if at some point, tienen una respuesta diferente, let me know. So just to make sure that we can um, also use the question, right? Remember, this is like pretty flexible. Um, it is not fixed. So we can have a couple of different ways to ask the same thing. Uh, so number one, Rafa, what do you have in number one? Okay, teacher. <laughs> What did you eat last Monday? Okay, very nice. So what did you eat last Monday? Christian, number two. When uh, did you see that movie? Very good. When did you see that movie? There you go. Uh, Noemi, number three, please. Um, how, did, how did you come here? Perfect. How did you come here? Yes. Uh, Angelica, number four. I guess Angelica's. No. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> uh, uh, why did you take my book? Yes. Nice. Why did you, why did you take my book? Okay. Uh, Margarita, are you with us? Margarita. Okay, oh, probably not. Andre, Andre, are you here? Yes, I'm here. Perfect. Can you help us with number five, please? Okay. What? Why did you say that? Exactly. Why did you say that? Thank you so much. And uh, tell me number six. Okay, six. And when did you enter through the window? Perfect. That's a really good one. So when did you enter through the window? Number seven. Iris, do you have number seven? Um, where did, where did uh, go last month on vacation? Okay. So where did Janet go? Yes. Nice. Exactly, that's a little bit more tricky because it's not you, but we have Janet. Good job. Uh, Kenya, do you have number eight? I don't sure. Uh, I'll say it, no worries, we we'll help you. What the... What time? The train leave time on time? What time? Okay, okay. Well, in this case, um, you like said that the, the sentence perfectly, I would say. Solo vamos a cambiar el orden de time. No. Uh, so, creería que Christian um, gave us like some, a little bit of a hint there. So, what time, right? What time? Que horas? <laughs> Did the train leave? There you go. So what time yeah. did the train leave? The rest what was time? super, super good. Solo cambiamos el orden de time. Very nice. Um, let me see who else I got here. Um, creo diría que... Judy, can you listen to us? Sigue lloviendo en Santa Ana. Sigue lloviendo, Miss. Y si eres el rey, no se escucha, Yuri. Yeah, but I'm sorry. Sí, no le, no le, no le escuchamos muy claramente, I guess. 
Hi, teacher. Hi, much better. Hi. <laughs> Ahora sí, we can hear you. Tal vez eran los audífonos. Yes, I think so. I was like, wow, está lloviendo super fuerte. <laughs> yeah, probably it was the earphone. Pero usted si no se escucha, Miss. Can you listen to us? Ya se calmó. Ah, oh, tenga. So that's yes, good, good, good. I listen. Perfect, perfect. So, Judy, can you help the us number, with number the nine? Number yes, please. Nine. Yes. Okay, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, say, no, did, no. How did that much cost dress? Okay, okay. So, how so much? Una palabrita. It's not how, much? Word. how much it's not word. did? How much did? Mm -hmm. That cost dress? Did cost. Cambiamos algo más? We gotta change something else. How, how much, much did? Está super did, bien. Uh -huh. How much did el qué? That dress cost. Cost. That cost. That uh, okay. dress cost. Yes. The dress cost. There we go. Very nice. Thank you, guys. Yes. So how much that dress cost? Exactly. Bastante similar here con la number eight that says what time, right? So unimos dos expresiones. What time? How much? Si fuera how many, that would be the same. So how many, um, I don't know, how many apples did you have? So how much did the dress cost? Porque estamos hablando del vestido. Thank you, guys. Very nice. And number 10, Imelda, can you help us with number 10? How many friends did he met yesterday? Very nice. Okay, so how many friends uh, did he? Um, so lo que acabamos de utilizar el mismo verbo, we don't change it. So how many friends did he meet yesterday? Okay. Yeah, so nice. Good job. Okay, guys, super. I'm super glad, you know, we we um, still remember how to make questions. Y especialmente no es lo mismo escribirles than trying to ask the questions this way. Now, we, I do have one more exercise. Uh, wait a second. Because we got to practice a little bit of um, pronunciation of uh, regular verbs. So give me just a moment. I'm going to select here a couple of verbs, but I need your help, guys, identifying them. For example, we have stopped. What else do you see? Past or past participle. Can you give me the verbs? We have promised. What else? Help me, please. Play. Okay, very good. Play. Listener, 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 Wash. Yes. Have. Talk. 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 Yes. 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 Wanted. Wanted. Yes. 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 Learn. Okay. Okay. Very nice. Sir, yes. Tell me, the, Rafa. The second, the second paragraph <gasps> and the first line when I got got no. Yes. 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 Of course. Um, there are more here. I think somebody said, for example, was. Uh, you Has. have sat. Um, but we are going to focus. They are, of course, verbs in past. But we are going to focus today in just regular verbs. Um, in the ones that finish in ED, because they tend to be a little bit more tricky in pronunciation. So guys, I'm going to read them. Uh, please follow me, okay? Please read them with me. 
And then uh, we are going to try to read the story on our own. So let's start here. Stopped. 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 Promised. 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 Played. 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 Listened. 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 No, un poco más corto. Listen. 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 Decided. 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 Mm -hmm. Very good. Um, agreed. 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 Asked. 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 Cooked. 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 Turned. 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 Washed. 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 Yes. Um, okay. Uh, talked. 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 Tested. Tested. Wanted. Wanted. Seemed. 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 Started. Started. Learned. 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 Okay. Okay. Perfect. That sounds really good to me. Okay, guys. Now, what we're going to be doing. Oh, give me just a moment. Because this story is a little bit longer. But ya la vamos a leer in a moment. We are going to read it in a moment. Just a question, guys. ¿Hay algún verbo que no está muy claro? Is there any verb that is not very clear? So remember, this is seemed. Seemed. Uh, that I think is one of the most difficult verbs. And that would be it. Los demás, guys, los demás verbos, are they clear? Well, um, ya los practicamos yes. y luego set. me Set. No problem. Yes, yeah. that would be said. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. So, guys, let's go with the next part here. Están bastante fáciles. They are quite easy. So, guys, repeat with me. Word. 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 Developed. 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 Suggested. 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 Neither. 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 Cold. 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 Admitted. 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 Guys, ¿cómo pronunciamos este? How do you pronounce this? Seemed. 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 All right, Seemed. there we go. Believed. 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 Mm -hmm. Very good. Reported or reported. 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 So whatever you choose there. And I think we already got the rest. Decided. 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 Wanted. 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 You can say it wanted or you can say wanted. So wanted. yeah, wanted. if you ever listen, wanted. oh, I wanted an ice cream. I wanted some money. So wanted is como la forma muy um, informal, right? So wanted or wanted, both <coughs> that okay. Okay, guys. So uh, let's go ahead and let's read this little conversation. So um, I'm going to give you a couple of seconds. All right. No, minutes. Not going to be like seconds. Please, guys, uh, le pueden tomar captura. Can you take a screenshot of this one? Um, so there are two parts. This is the first. Um, so this is the first part of the story. We are going to practice pronunciation and a little bit of vocabulary here. And uh, me avisan, please, cuando ya tengan la captura, let me know uh, so I can present the previous one. Ready, guys? Ya la tienen. Do you have it? 
Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes. Perfect, perfect. Let's go with the second part. So it's a super short story, but let's divide it by the tamaño of the letter. I didn't want to. Um, I didn't want to what uh, make it that hard for you. So this is the second part of the story, but it is the same. So please take a screenshot of this one. Thank you so much guys for sharing the story. Okay. Okay guys, and we are going to try to practice pronunciation now. So let me read this story for you. Okay. Uh, and then guys, nos ayudan leyendo lo, lo más fluido que pueden, the, the, with the most beautiful voice you have, okay. Um, the best pronunciation you can get out of it. And we're gonna have some volunteers. So the story says, yesterday was so busy. At the office, I worked hard with my team. We developed a new advertising plan. Our meeting lasted about two hours. I remembered an advertising plan that worked five years ago. And I suggested we try that again. We needed to get the manager's approval. We called him on the office phone he admitted that the idea seemed good, but he believed that we should lower the budget. We reported our numbers to him and talked about the budget for a long time. Finally, he decided to give us the money we wanted. Remember last time, hablábamos de hacer linking sounds, so acá vamos a hacer to give us, right? No lo separamos. On the way home, I stopped at the mall. I had promised my daughter a new MP3 player for her birthday. At the electronics store, I played songs and listened for quality sound. I decided to buy one at the medium price. Uh, when I got home, the kitchen was a mess. Our house, um, we have agreed to clean up after ourselves. So I asked around to find out who had cooked last. That person turned out to be my son. While he washed the dishes, I sat at the kitchen table and talked to him about his schoolwork. Last year, he tested into an advanced program and I wanted to see how he was doing. He seemed happy with it. He started telling me about his classes and what he learned that way, that day, sorry. Okay, guys, so pretty much this is the story. It's a really, really simple and short story, but I want you, I want to listen to the best and most beautiful voice you can make from this story, okay? Probably you will see some new words like approval, seem, I don't know if you're familiar with the word budget, um, so you can also like check the words um, and discuss them with your classmates. But right now, guys, vamos a enfocarnos en pronunciación. So I'm going to give you some minutes. Uh, vamos a practicarlo, guys. We are going to practice this story en los grupos, in the groups. Okay. Remember, hay un meme que es súper claro que dice la voz de mi cabeza, right? La voz que digo, or el inglés de mi cabeza, el inglés que realmente hablo. And, and you know, es súper real, porque no es lo mismo hablar yeah. para mí y de comentarle a alguien más, intentar transmitir lo que yo quiero, right? Y lo vamos a lograr solamente socializando, guys. So, yo sé que a veces nos da penita, me voy a equivocar, no sé cómo se pronuncia, pero ¿cómo lo voy a hacer bien si no lo intento? Así que, guys, please, intentémoslo, give it a try. Sin miedo al éxito, ok, si nos equivocamos, no worries. Please, solo les voy a pedir... Um, Ayúdense y ayudémonos, you know, uh, respetuosamente, right? So nadie se va a reír, nadie se va a burlar, al contrario, nos vamos a apoyar. So guys, eh, yo sé que los verbos con eh, regular verbs tienden a ser un poquito complicados, especialmente algunos con el sonido de de. Right? Like called, believed. So, entre más nos cueste, más lo practicamos. All right? I'm going to give you five minutes eh, para que lo puedan practicar. Please go to the rooms. All right? And then I'm going to call some people in the group. 
Sir, vámonos, guys. Me avisan si alguien tiene dificultades entrando. Go to the rooms, please. Go, 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 go. Hi, teacher. Hello, girl. I'm Creo sorry. I'm disconnected. All, right? No, no, se preocupe, miss. No thank worries. You. I guess thank the internet you. is not. Okay, thank you. Good, you're welcome.
developed. Lasted. Hello guys. Hello, hello. Hello. Les fue? How was it? Did, were you able to practice a little bit? Um, did you have difficulties with any word from the text or are you good? Are you fine? We are fine, but with some difficulties. Yes, that is totally, that's normal, right? That's part <laughs> yeah. of the process. But did you have a good practice? Yes, of course. We repeat one and, uh, and several two, times. two times. Yeah, yes, several exactly. times. So the more we practice, the better it gets. Um, and so, guys, I have one little activity for you. So do me a big, big favor. Ya lo practicamos. We already practiced it, right? And something very important too, guys, is la manera como lo repetimos, the way we sound, the way um, we transmit what we want to um, say, right? So I will ask you guys that in la mejor de las voces, we try to read solamente, um, the moment, this is not the one. I want you to try to read this part, this part, like the second part, right? So guys, eh, les voy a dar five minutes. I'll give you five minutes. Please, necesito que se graben. I need you to get your phone right now. Se sean el teléfono, no hay problema. It sounds all right. Um, so I want you to go to WhatsApp, all right? And I want you to record your voice reading this part. La, la mejor, la más bonita. <laughs> Cuando digo la más bonita, guys, me refiero a, um, uh, al ritmo. No que cambiemos nuestra voz or anything. Now, remember that um, inglés no es plano. So, normally, no leemos como, on the way home, I stopped at the mall. I had promised. So, <laughs> we don't normally read that way, eh, sino que inglés lleva como un cantadito, right? Lleva como un ritmo. So, vamos a enfocarnos un poquito también en intonation. That means, la palabra que consideran que es más importante, la vamos a pronunciar un poco más alta. Uh, puede ser cualquiera. Lo único que les pido es que escojan una palabra, right? That you consider is important. And intentemos subir un poquito nuestro tono de voz en la word. For example, um, en la número uno, yo creo que es importante. So, puedes escoger cualquiera, and that's okay. Todo depende de lo que yo quiera compartir. So, on the way home, I stopped at the mall. Cambió yeah. totalmente the way I say it. Or, yeah. for example, yo creo que es importante saber que yo me detuve precisamente en el centro comercial. So, on, on the, the way home, mall. I stopped at the mall. So, la hago más alta, right? So, guys, do me a big favor. En cada una de las eh, palabras, vamos a seleccionar una. We're going to select it together, right? Ustedes me ayudan here. Y vamos a intentar leerlo con un poquito de, uh, de ritmo. Let's call it that way. So, okay. uh, sentence number two. I had promised my daughter a new MP3 player for her birthday. ¿Cuál es importante? What is important in the second sentence? Dígame cualquiera. Any word. ¿Qué es lo más importante? From the second. Promise. 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 Bye. So that means yeah. que voy a, voy a decir esta palabra mucho más alto. I had promised my daughter a new my MP3 daughter. player for her birthday. Porque yeah. eso es lo importante. Next one. At the electronic store, I play songs and listen for quality sound. ¿Cuál es importante? Give me one word that is important. Mm -hmm. Quality sound. Oh, yeah. Perfect, no problem. So that yeah. means, again, tengo que hacerlo más yeah. aquí. At the electronic store, I play songs and listen for quality, quality sound. Quality song, sound. Más alto, a little bit louder. Eh, y la última, in the last one, what do you think is important? To buy. I decide. Decide. Okay, digamos que es decide, como es pasado, that would be decided. Yeah. I decided. Subo la voz. I decided to buy, to buy one, one at a uh, medium price. So medium I decided price. to buy, to buy one, one at a medium price. At a medium price. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a lograr, guys? Entonación. No pronunciación. We are working now on intonation, que es el ritmo. Let's go with this next one. Eh, ¿Cuál es importante in the next one? Give me any word that you consider is important. 
when. Mm, pero tendría que ser una palabra diferente. It has to be a different uh, word. Home. Okay. Home. Home. Okay. ¿Cómo lo voy a leer? Easy. When I got home, the kitchen okay. was a mess. Right? So, because home, that could be important. La siguiente, guys. Give me one word. Mess. Mess. Mm, pero eso sería parte de la mía. Oh, okay. yeah. I can take it, but I can take it. That's okay. They can yeah. take it. Next one. At our house, we have clean a up. To clean up. Okay, perfect. Clean up. Maybe clean to clean up. up. To clean up. Yeah, okay. Remember what I mentioned. Esto es flexible. Si para mí clean up es lo más importante, lo voy a hacer más alto. Si, por ejemplo, creo que la palabra agreed es más importante, es la que voy a enfocar, ¿ok? Es la que voy a subir mi voz. Entonces, guys, no hay problema. That's why I'm asking you como palabras random para que solamente practicamos entonación, pero si la quieren cambiar, no hay ningún problema. Uh, then it says, I ask around. Eh, la siguiente, guys. There's the so. Um, Cualquier palabra, people. Give me any word. Ask. Asked. So I asked. asked, asked around to find out. Asked. To find out. Yeah, for cualquiera de ellas is fine. Podemos usar asked. Podemos usar find out. That's okay. Next one. So I must go on the pers that person. Uh, voy a seleccionar son here. Of course, ustedes pueden seleccionar otro, no hay problema. Uh, then it says while he washed the dishes, I sat at the kitchen table and talked to him about his school work. So washed. Wash the oh, dishes. Well, he wash the dishes. Oh. Yes, we can mm. go with this one and so forth. All right. So, vamos a hacer lo mismo con las últimas. Remember, la palabra que consideren más importante, lo único que vamos a hacer es subir nuestra voz a little bit. How? On the way home. So, here, puedo seleccionar home también. On the way home, I stopped at the mall. I had promised my daughter. A new MP3 player for her birthday. At the electronics store, I play songs and listen for quality sound. I decided to buy one at a medium price. When I got home, the kitchen was a mess. At our house, we had agreed to clean up after ourselves. So I asked around to find out who had cooked last. That person turned out to be my son. So, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer con esas palabras que están encerradas? Hacerlas más largas, más fuertes, ¿all right? Yeah. Y nuestra voz inmediatamente va a cambiar porque agregamos entonación. Guys, eh, home, tenemos... I stopped at the mall. Ah, exactly. So, lo demás puede ser como lo mismo. I stopped at the mall. Pero subimos cuando llegamos a mall. Guys, practicamos un momento. Eh, I'm going to turn off eh, your microphones because... Uh, that can be like an individual practice. Let's go ahead, cinco minutos. I'll give you five minutes. All right. Um, so you get your phone. All right. Se está en el teléfono. Igual creería que se puede grabar en WhatsApp. Grabemos este pedacito. Record this part. Y me lo envían today. Si no lo quieren enviar al grupo, that is perfect. Send it to me, please. Send it to my, my side chat. A mi número personal. Because I really want to listen to everybody uh, in this part. So, um, I'm going to select the last. Remember, estas son solamente algunas ideas, pero si lo quieren cambiar, no hay ningún problema. An advanced program. So, advanced. I wanted to see how he was doing. I'm going to select here, doing. Seem happy with it. I'm going to select happy. I'm going to select that day. There you go. Okay, guys, five minutes, record it, record it, uh, repeat it, repeat it, okay, e intentemos subir un poquito la voz when we get to this part. Voy a mutear mi, tel, eh, mi micrófono too, so you have the chance to, uh, to practice uh, your intonation a little bit.
Thank you guys for sending the audios. Uh, so I'm still, me faltan los de algunos. I'm gonna give you some minutes so you can finish them. All right, guys, thanks a lot for sending your audios. They sound amazing. They sound really, really nice. Uh, todavía me faltan escuchar a couple of them. I still need to listen to like uh, three or four. But so far, what I have heard is great. 
So guys, si se escuchan, if you just listen to yourselves, um, we like it or not, la voz cambia totalmente, our voice changes a lot, y solamente por hacer este pequeño cambio en una palabra o hacerla más larga, right, o más fuerte, cambia la pronunciación. Ya no me escucho flat, no me escucho como un robot, right? <laughs> But cambiamos un poquito. So let's try to... Um, Practice this, right? Obviamente, um, la fluidez viene con el tiempo, con la práctica, but you're doing an amazing job. So really, really good. All right, guys. Now let's uh, move on because we still have a couple, well, we have one more activity to do. And this is related to the previous class. So um, in the previous class, we were working a little bit with this vocabulary here. So we were discussing some of the words that are new, some of the words that you already recognized. And let's take a look guys at a couple of words that were totally new for you. So, uh, me imagino que, well, de hecho sí recuerdo que les, uh, les estaban compartiendo. So you were sharing, you were like checking in the dictionary, the meaning of most of them. So, Uh, guys, ayúdenme con el significado de ellas. I am sure you still remember them, so I'm going to trust you 100% here. Uh, for example, stain. Can you give me an example with stain? Or what it is or anything related to stain? Stain uh, is when you put uh, something Uh, for example, in your blouse, mm -hmm. uh, a little piece of maybe catch or against my chest. Yes, I like it. Exactly. So you normally stain your clothes with ketchup, mustard, lemon, wine. I don't know. Yeah, so, yeah exactly. Very nice. So, or when we are eating, right? It's in the sky, la sopa. Yeah, so you just that's... stain it. Uh -huh. Good. Thank you. Uh, guys, uh, can somebody help me with spill? What's, uh, can you give me an example with the spill? What is it? A spill. It's, it's, it's similar to a stain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, yes. um, for example, Yeah. Uh, uh, for I example, spill some water uh, in my shirt. Yeah, don't cry over the spilled milk, for example. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Exactly. So don't cry over spill, uh, spill spill milk. It. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. So spill, guys, exactly. It refers to liquids. So normalmente stain is que nos cae encima, right? Um, that yeah. something is on you and oh, se me manchó. And you got some color on your clothes. But okay. it's still not necessarily as over you. So you can be drinking water and suddenly pff, it falls down. Oh, I spilled the water, right? I spilled coffee. So that is very common. Mm -hmm. I spilled okay. bleach. What do you stressed? Tea. No, bleach. No, bleach. Okay, <laughs> so you spilled bleach. And your, and your, I don't know, and your jeans got a stain. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, that is so bad. Okay, guys. Next one. Uh, run out of. Run out of definitely tiene varios significados. Uh, my recommendation is cuando vean palabras de dos, eh, de dos partículas como estas, power cut, lock, uh, lockout, eh, fold down, nunca las busquen juntas ni las busquen en Google Translator. Uh, váyanse con las palabras juntas o a un diccionario, you know, but busquen las juntas. Never uh, separate them, never uh, split them, right? So run out and run out of, las dos tienen significados bastante diferentes. Do you remember? Did you get the meaning of these words? Did you get the meaning? Mm -hmm. Of the words of run out and run out of? Enough. I'm not it's sure. like a... um, yes, Noemi. Run out is when you finish. Yeah. 
No, I mean. Hello, do you listen to me? No, yes, I'm sorry. You were breaking a little, but yeah, it's, it's perfect. Tell us, tell us. So right now is? Right now is maybe when finish something, maybe you finish to do it or to finish um, a, the milk or no, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure. Okay, run out, right? Yes. Uh, um, teacher. Yes, Christian. Now is when I do some time, but the time is about to finish. Oh, okay. Yeah, actually, ambas están perfectas. So both of them are like very, very nice. Yes. So we can just run out like Mr. Candles de Sin Tiempo. So I am running out of time. Yeah. Yes. That would be of, right? I run out of. So utilizo las tres partículas. Um, I run out. Puedo, so, sin que nos podamos quedar, guys. I run out of time. Me quedo sin tiempo. Se me acaba el tiempo. I am running out of time. ¿Qué más? What else? Give me some ideas. I run out of uh, fuel in my vehicle. Exactly. So I am <laughs> running out of fuel. I am running out of gas, you know. So I'm yeah. running out of gas. Okay. Battery so in myself. I am running out of battery. Yes, guys, ¿en qué se han quedado right now? <laughs> Money. <laughs> I money. ran out of money. Me quedo sin dinero. I ran out of money. Se me acabó. Exactly. After vacation. <laughs> yes. After las ruedas. You know? <laughs> I ran out of money. Okay. I ran out of gas. So lo utilizo pretty much para todo lo que me quede sin suplementos or sin something. I can say I ran out of water. Oh, me quede sin agua. You know why, right? So I ran I out, run of water. out of water. Okay. Anything else? Rafa? Um, the milk has run out. Mm -hmm. Very good. So milk has run out. Very nice. I like that one. Or I ran out of milk. Exactly. So ambas pueden ser. Run out, so run out milk. también es como escapar, right? So it, re it really depends how you see that. So it, it has a lot of meanings. Um, I run out energy. I run out of, um, yes, yes, could be. Sin embargo, eh, run out es como que me he quedado sin algo, you know. Eh, si lo ve en el sentido de, okay. I don't know, tengo una batería, por ejemplo, la batería me está dando energía, eh, se me acabó la batería. Yes, I run out of energy in that case. Pero si hablamos como, por ejemplo, se me fue la luz. So that would be a different word. That can be, yeah. tenemos acá power cut, right? Podría ser that one, or yeah. hay una más formal that we normally use, that is power outage. So guys, cuando se nos va la luz, uh, we can use that expression too. So I'm having a power outage. Or, yeah, that's super formal, right? Tengo okay. bajón de electricidad. Um, okay. Guys, give me some examples with leak. Leak. Mm -hmm. um, leak is uh, is when you go out at uh, some place, maybe. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have a leak in my. Ay, ¿cómo se dice techo? Uh, in my room. Sorry, <laughs> roof. Oh, oh, in my ceiling, yes. Uh -huh. I have a leak in my roof. Cuando co co tenemos goteritas, right? Especialmente en esta época. Yeah. So I have, there is a leak in the roof. Okay. O cuando el chorro tiene una, um, como un goteo, right? Como fuga. una fuga. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So fuga is leaking. Water is leaking. Uh -huh. So water is leaking. All right. Uh, there okay. is a there is a gas leak. Yes, very good. There is a gas leak. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's the one. Okay. Uh, let me see. ¿Qué otras palabras, guys, did you find kind of difficult? Did you find new words or las demás si las conocían? Did you know the rest? Grace or grass. Grace. Grace. Okay. Perfect. What is grace? Can you give me some examples with grace? 
encontraron por Grace, guys? What did you find with that? I found Rosar, maybe when you touch accidentally with another person, I think. Yes, yes. In the sense of an accident, right? Yes. So that can be crazy. Mm -hmm. Como un roce, pero roce en sentido de um, that it is going to hurt, right? Algo yeah. que sí me puede doler mucho. Accident. I don't know. A bullet, a rock. Accident, yeah. Like a sort of accident. Sí, como un raspón, pero que algo me lo ocasionó, right? Like something. Uh, Una caída. Yeah. A, 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 a shorting balls, por ejemplo. For example. Mm. A yes. shorting. Yeah. I'm sorry. Creo que escuché la voz de alguien más. The shoes. The shoes are crazy. Crazy. Mm. I have never heard that one. Uh, I'm super honest. Nunca he escuchado la parte de shoes because shoes would be blistering or hurting, pero déjeme investigarlo and I'll tell you tomorrow because I don't want to lie to you. <laughs> so se lo investigo. Let me investigate if grazing puede ser usado para shoes too because normally usamos a hurting. Hurt. So my shoes hurt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a little different. Okay, guys. So um, please review. Revisen este vocabulario para el día de mañana. Please review this vocabulary. Lo vamos a estar trabajando tomorrow into speaking oh. practice. Es el mismo de la sesión anterior. It is exactly the same as the previous session. Guys, antes de irnos solamente les voy a tomar asistencia super quick here. Si me ayudan un momentito con su camarita, that would be much appreciated. Eh, gracias, guys, por que eh, si ya me mandaron el audio. Thank you so much. Escucho los que me faltan en unos minutos y les mando por ahí también el feedback. So, hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me one second here. Let me just update. Okay, there we go. So, I got, um, okay, Adolfo. Yes. Thank you, Andrea. Present. Thank you, Carlos. Presentation. Just a second. Thank you. Christian. I'm here. Thank you so much. Uh, Delmi. Present. Thank you, Delmi. Helen. Present. Terminó de trabajar, Miss. <laughs> Todavía no. Uh, Imelda. Imelda estaba acá. Uh, Iris. Sorry, present. No worries. Thank you, present. Arnoldo. Thank you so much. Kenya. Present. Thank you. Angelica? Present. Thank you. Gabby was here. Noemi? I'm here. Thank you so much. Rafa? I'm here. Thank you. Margarita? Present, teacher. Thank you. Judy? Here, teacher. Thank you. And Daniel? Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Gracias, chicos. Eh, thanks, everybody, for being here. Uh, por favor, solamente revisen este vocabulario for tomorrow. Y no se les olvide avanzar en la plataforma, please. Estaríamos terminando la, plata, uh, la unidad número dos el día de mañana. So, please, necesitamos que completen al menos la unidad número dos for tomorrow. Thank you, guys. Nos vemos el día de mañana. Have a good night. Bye, Bye. everyone. Bye. Good night. See you. Good see night. you. See you.